Hi friends, welcome to Non-Functional Club. Today we'll be discussing about Hashcat tool. So this is basically an advanced password recovery tool. And this tool can be used to find the secret key from the JWT token. So we are having this tools demo as a part of our OWASP top 10 series where we need to manipulate the JWT token as a part of broken authentication sessions. So we'll look into it in details and we will see where actually this particular tool will be used as a part of the OAS top 10 session. So let's begin. Let's look into introduction of Hashcat. So Hashcat is considered as one of the fastest CPU and GPU password recovery tool. This can be easily configured on multiple platforms. It is easy to install on Windows, Linux, or Mac OS systems. Hashtag supports many algorithms. I have listed a few that is like LM hash, NT hash, MD4, MD5, SHA1, and 2. So we will even see this list in details in its GitHub page. In terms of downloading, for using the hashcat we have its zip file which is present in this particular location and it's the raft files now raft files why we are going to use uh, we'll discuss in details because this is part of the jwt token segregation which we are using as a part of our vulnerability check uh, in the os top 10 sessions so this we'll see why we need this So as discussed in the previous slide, we are going to use Hashcat tool as a part of JWT cracking assignment, which is the eighth assignment in JWT cracking. Here, what we have to do is we have to find out the token or we have to find out the secret key associated with the JWT token. The JWT token is mentioned here. So to find out the secret key, we are going to use or take help of Hashcat. Also, we'll be checking how hashcat is actually used with respect to the raft files and how we can actually run that using the cpu and gpu mechanism so let's start on that so as seen in the slides we are going to use this particular link that is hashcat.net and if we navigate it will be hashcat so from here we are going to download the latest binaries so these binaries will come into the 7-zip file format once you click on download you'll see this is downloaded as a 7-zip so we'll have to extract it using a winrar or the 7-zip tool next as uh, said previously if you see these are all the algorithms which hashcat supposed as a part of the password recovery so it is a huge list altogether let me navigate so here i'll just open the folder where i have actually kept hashcat so if you see here this is the hashcat 7zip file and once you extract it and if you open it you will see it will be present in this particular format so this is a command line tool First of all, so what I've done, the token which we just discussed about this token, we have to find out the secret key of this particular token. So I have just kept this particular token in a in a file that is. I have just copy pasted this and I've kept it. So I've kept it in the folder of Hashcat itself. And what we are going to do is we are going to use the raft medium words token or the medium words file that is if i open this and if you just see we have a list of the words through which hashcat will use this particular words to find out the secret code of this particular token so how that is going to take place we'll just see in terms of abbreviations used in the command as well so let's move to the slide again basically our command for hashcat we'll be considering of four arguments out of which the first one would be the hash type 
for example which hash type we are going to use that is that will be denoted by hyphen m and it would be talking about md5 sha etc the one which we are going to use the current hash type support is of 3 hash types which currently the the tool supports and we will be using the hyphen m 16500 hash type as it is particularly present for jwt token the next argument is hyphen a that is the attack mode so how we are going to use hashcat to crack the passwords so which mode we are going to use that is particularly denoted by hyphen a and we'll be using the hyphen a three type next we have the third argument is the file which is particularly containing the hashes so which we intend to crack so in our case we'll be using the hyphen w3 so which specifies the high high workload so our machine will be running for a long time and it would be become unresponsive so as hashcat uses cpu and gpu both while processing the hash algorithms so in that case what happens is it takes a lot of time to actually come down to the secret key or come down to the passwords by continuously hashing or continuously making the brute force on the particular files so sometimes our machine will become unresponsive so we have specified it that even if becomes unresponsive just continue running and the fourth one is your dictionary so we are going to use the as we just discussed we are going to use the dictionary with respect to the raft medium words.txt so this is a medium side sized word list from sec lists so this particular text file we are going to use for help to do brute force on the jwt token which we are going to configure so the raft files which we are going to use i am just going to copy it from this particular location all these links i am going to provide it in the comments or the description section as well so as it will be easy for you to just copy it and use it if you need to download these files so out of this we are going to download this particular file which will be consisting of the word lists which we need so this particular word list we are going to use if you see here i have just taken out this particular word list or the 7zip file i have extracted and we have this list out of which this particular file the raft medium words file which we are going to use a small file and this one yeah this one we are going to use as a part of our command so let's see how our command will actually look like when we are going to use this particular file to extract the secret code from jwt token so this will be our command that is hashcat token.txt this particular file as we just saw will contain the jwt token this particular hyphen m16500 that is the hash type for our jwt token then brute forcing will be hyphen a3 and the workload will be specified with respect to the high workload that is hyphen w3 and the medium words file from the raft which we have picked up so that is currently present in this particular location in my machine we are just going to use this command and let's see how we can actually target the token and find out the secret key so as we have our hashcat downloaded and extracted here let's run the command i'll open the command prompt here and we'll use the command which we just saw in, saw in the slides i'll right click and the command is running now if you see this particular brute force is going to take time and it is clearly showing us the iterations that is 6387 iterations it is going to take so obviously it is going to take time and we'll have to be patient about it uh, next thing once this particular thing is started like once the brute force or the attack is started by our tool that is hashcat your system might act slow so till the time the attack is going on we cannot proceed with heavy operations on the machine so make sure about it i'll just forward the video so that once this particular attack is at end and once the secret key is fetched we'll start from there now we have successfully 
hash cat the particular token and we have received the secret key as business so what we are going to do we are going to just copy this particular token in a particular site that is we'll just navigate to jwt.io so here this particular site will help you to encode and decode the values which are present in the token so what we'll do as this is a jwt token we'll just paste the token which we have received right so we had copied this token previously so i'll just go to the token where we have copied it this one and we'll just take this token and we'll paste it here so once we paste it it will help us decode the token and we can see the values are been present here now the secret key which we have received through our particular thing is business so i'll just add this particular secret key here once i have added the secret key next part which was asked as a part of our assignment if we navigate here we need to change the username to webgood so this thing also we'll do we'll just change the username to webgood once we have done i'll change the expiry date of this to maybe some other value so that this particular token will not expire now i guess our token is ready we'll just copy this jwd token and we'll try to complete the assignments we'll paste it and we'll say submit token so once you have submitted the token our assignment has been completed successfully so just to give a brief or go to the main pointers which we have performed is a part of this assignment firstly we have taken this jwt token to fetch out the secret key we have used hashcat which is the topic of our today's session using hashcat we have taken out the secret key this is the secret key which we have got and using this secret key we have tried to decode the fields and again encode it using jwt.io and once we have received this particular token we have tried to breach it successfully with our own username and our own successful uh, secret key which we have received so this is part of our jwt cracking in webgoat so the eighth session of jwt cracking we have successfully achieved so basically that was all about the hashcat tool we have also seen the jwt token session 8 and we have seen how we we were able to successfully achieve the session or the assignment which was performed in that so that's it hope this session was useful stay tuned for more security and performance tools don't forget to subscribe non functional club channel thank you